welcome to Flipped with Lesson 118 for the 6th grade. Today, we're taking a path that only a few take. It can be a difficult path, so be careful. Today, we're looking at estimating area. Estimating area is a concept that you may have seen in science class. You may have seen in other classes. But it's, it's using a grid to help you understand what an area of a complex shape really is. Let's start by analyzing a simple shape like a circle. First of all, as we look at this circle, the question would be, how can we find the area? Now you, of course, are saying, well, I know how to find the area of a circle. I've learned that equation already. But let's pretend for a minute you haven't. How might you find the area of this? There's really a simple way to go about doing this. We're going to take our shape here, and we can break it down in, into lots of different ways. We could take it and use a, a nice small grid like this and break it into four simple sections, then find the area of those simple sections, then multiply. Or we could take it as a whole, like this. Let's see if we can get to line up perfectly. Well, close enough. And we can try to find the area. By looking at the area here, we would really start by counting what we would call the, the sections that, for the most part, had become a whole. Right? So I could say, okay, this is, here, let me change my color. This is clearly one. Let's see if I can get it to stand out more. I don't know if any of my colors are going to stand out. All right, that's one unit. That's a unit. That's a unit. That's a unit. Those are very obviously full units. From here, right, because we're estimating, we can start to take a little liberty and say, okay, well, how might the rest of this play in? Right? And I can say, okay, yeah, this little bit is missing here, but this is pretty close to a whole one, so I'm going to count that one. So I'm going to count that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And we get this idea. Now the question becomes, what do we do with these little pieces right here right and once again it's all about estimating right if I look at these real carefully right if I say okay those are taking about a quarter of one of the squares so if I take one two three four I could probably safely add one more right and get an answer of about right you could say approximately it's kind of that wavy equal sign approximately 13 units right, squared because it's area square. Right. Now someone might say, well, that's a low estimate, right? Because this to me looks a little bit more than a quarter, right? Because this little bit and this little bit stick out beyond. And so you could round up one more and make your estimate about 14 units. The bigger part is, is the fact is you want a very close estimate for what you're dealing with. Now this, of course, is a very simple shape. What happens when we move to a complex shape? Now this, of course, is a very complex shape. Probably nothing like this you're going to see in your lesson for today. However, it's fun to take on a challenge when learning a new concept. And as we look at this concept, right, we should be able to figure out about how many fit into this Element. So we're looking at the black area, and we want to figure out how much of the black area takes up, how, what is the area of, of the black in this object, right? And so I'm going to start by filling in what I can very clearly see as a full one, right? So I'd say, yeah, that's a full one. So i got two, uh, three, uh, looks like this one's pretty full, four, five, and pretty complex, right, with all that white playing in and out. So now we want to start using our estimation. Okay, I'm going to start using my estimation, right? This one looks pretty close, so I'm going to go 6, 7, right? Uh, this one looks 8, 9. This one's pretty close, 10. So this side's pretty close also, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I'm going to actually go up and 
and look at it like that. All right, so right now I'm at uh, a solid 17 pretty close estimates. And so now I can start looking at and combining some ideas, right? So I think these two together, that's going to give me an, an 18. These two, they're going to give me a 19. Um, I'm going to take these eyes for a 20. All right, those look pretty close. We're at 21 now. And I think I'm going to take these two to make it a 22. Same on this side, 23 we're at now. Here's a 24. Here's a 25. And basically what we're left with is we're left with this one, this one, right? This one, this one, this one. And I think just these two for the most part. All right, I guess technically this one and this one, just just that quick little line. And so as we look at what's left over, we want to say, okay, what's the best way to analyze this to get a good estimate, right? I think I could combine these three, right? And I safely say that's another one. So that takes us to 26, right? And then maybe take, well, let's just group it like that just to keep it a little easier, 27. And then we'll group this. Oh, I forgot this one. 28. And then, of course, we have this one right here, which I missed also. So 29. I think in the end, since we are estimating, I don't think we would object to say that that's about 29 units square. And that's really the point of this entire lesson, is to look at a picture and to, to find, you know, get a, as close of an estimate to what you know for sure, right? As we looked at this number, we saw, you know, there are some squares that just really stood out and said, oh, yeah, 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 those, those ones make sense, right? Very easy to understand what the area is of those, even if they're not completely filled. And then we take the fractional parts of some of the other ones and we kind of combine them, add them together to create um, a, a reasonable estimate to go with our idea. All right. All right. We worked through that one together. All right. It took a little bit of time. Like I said, probably a little bit more complex than what you're dealing with, but it's great practice to really understand this concept. Here's one for you to try. All right. Can you take, calculate the area of this object rounding to the nearest whole number as you deal with the grids within this shape? All right. That is lesson 100. And 18, breaking down estimating area. area.